Hello and welcome to another episode of Think Tech. I am your host Shivam and today we have a fascinating topic to discuss the raft consensus algorithm. In this episode we'll unravel the key concepts behind raft, understand its significance and explore its real world applications. So let's get started. Before we dive into the heart of our discussion today which is raft let us first spend some time to understand what exactly is a consensus algorithm and why does it matter in the world of distributed systems think about the scenario you and your friends are planning a movie night and you all need to agree on which movie to watch seems easy right but what if your friends are scattered across different locations and you can only communicate through messages What if some of your messages get delayed or lost along the way? The simple decision making process suddenly becomes a lot trickier. Now imagine this on a large scale, a network of computers or servers that need to agree on something, like which data to update or what action to take. This is where a consensus algorithm comes in. It's like having a referee who ensures that even if the participants, in this case computers, have communication problems or make mistakes, they still reach a decision that everyone can agree on. Consensus algorithms are like the glue that holds distributed systems together. In a distributed system, each computer or node might have its own idea of what should happen next. but to avoid chaos they need to work together and agree on a single plan of action this is crucial for scenarios like online banking where you don't want your money disappearing due to a communication glitch between servers consensus algorithms help these nodes decide who gets to be the leader or the decision maker at any given time the leader makes the calls and the other nodes follow its lead if the leader fails another one is chosen ensuring that the system keeps running smoothly It's like having a team captain and when the captain's not around someone else steps up to lead the team. Now that we understand what is a consensus algorithm the next obvious question is why is consensus needed? According to me there are four major challenges in distributed computing that make a consensus algorithm like raft an absolute necessity. Let's go through each one of them. The first challenge is the challenge of reliable communication. Imagine a group of friends trying to decide on a destination for a weekend getaway. Each friend has their own preferences and they need to agree on a single place to visit. Now picture the scenario in a realm of distributed systems where computers or servers are the friends and communication between them is not always reliable. Consensus algorithms step in to bridge the gap, ensuring that even if messages are delayed, lost or misunderstood, the nodes eventually reach an agreement. The second challenge is of node failures. In distributed systems, nodes can fail or become unresponsive at any given time. If the leader of a consensus process fails, it's important to quickly and reliably elect a new leader to keep the system running smoothly. Consensus algorithms facilitate this process, ensuring that a new leader is chosen without chaos or disagreement. The next challenge is the challenge of ensuring data consistency. In distributed systems data needs to be consistent across nodes. If one node has a different version of the data from another, it can lead to confusion, errors and incorrect results. Consensus algorithms guarantee that all nodes have the same understanding of the data, preventing inconsistencies and maintaining the integrity of the system. And the final challenge is of network partitions. In distributed systems, network partitions can isolate nodes from each other. leading to divergent decisions consensus algorithms help prevent network partitions from causing confusion by ensuring that only one group of node continues to make decision while the partition is active in a nutshell consensus algorithm are the backbone of distributed systems tackling these challenges head on to ensure cooperation consistency and reliability and as we move forward we'll dive into the specifics of the raft algorithm exploring how it addresses these challenges and provides a robust solution for achieving consensus in distributed environments so now let us start a discussion about the raft algorithm an ingenious solution to the challenges of achieving consensus in distributed system the story of raft begins in 2013 when two brilliant minds diego ongaro and john austerhout introduced it as an alternative to the paxos algorithm a tried and true but notoriously complex consensus algorithm 
द मोटिवेशन बिहाइंड ड्राफ्ट क्रिएशन वॉज टू टैकल द परसिव्ड कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ पैक्सॉज हेड ऑन मेकिंग कंसेंस मोर अप्रोचेबल इम्प्लीमेंटेबल एंड मेंटेनेबल राफ्ट स्टैंड हाउस एज अ शाइनिंग एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एलिगेंस इन डिजाइन इट ब्रेक्स डाउन द कंसेंसिस प्रोसेस इन टू अंडरस्टैंडेबल कॉम्पोनेंट्स दैट रिजेंबल एवरी डे ऑर्गनाइजेशनल स्ट्रक्चर्स एट इट्स कोर राफ्ट रिवॉल्व अराउंड द मेटेफर ऑफ अ क्लस्टर ऑफ अ नोड इलेक्टिंग अ लीडर मच लाइक अ ग्रुप ऑफ फ्रेंड्स चूजिंग अ स्पोक्स पर्सन दिस लीडर गाइड्स द कंसेंसिस प्रोसेस एंश्योरिंग अ कोहरेंट एंड यूनानमस डिसीजन मेकिंग अमंग्स द नोट One of the remarkable features of raft is its modular approach. It's divided into three distinct subproblems: leader election, log replication, and safety. These components work together harmoniously to ensure that the distributed system maintains consistency even in the face of network partition crashes or delay in message transmission. Raft's beauty lies not only in its simplicity but also in its comprehensibility. its clear separation of roles leader follower and candidate reduces the likelihood of errors and misunderstandings creating a solid foundation for building robust distributed systems this clarity doesn't just benefit developers it also empowers system administrators and architects to reason about the system's behavior and troubleshoot potential issues more effectively in the landscape of distributed computing algorithm where complex consensus algorithms often resemble intricate puzzles raft shines as a beacon of simplicity and understanding its introduction marked a significant milestone in the quest of achieving agreement in distributed systems in a simple yet accurate way at its heart raft features three distinct roles that work in tandem to maintain agreement among a group of distributed nodes these roles are the leader the follower and the candidate Think of these roles as players in an orchestra, each contributing their unique skills to create a harmonious symphony of consensus. Let's start by understanding the role of a leader. In the world of raft, the leader is akin to a conductor of the orchestra. The leader takes charge of the consensus process by receiving client request and orchestrating the replication of these request across all nodes. This replication ensures that all nodes have a consistent view of the system state. The leader is responsible for maintaining the order of commands and ensuring that they are applied uniformly across the network. On the other side of the stage, we have followers. Followers are the attentive musicians who faithfully replicate the leader's actions. They synchronize their state with the leader's state, ensuring that all nodes are on the same page. Followers don't make decisions. they trust the leader's guidance and faithfully replicate its decision to achieve consensus now let's bring in the candidates think of candidates as potential conductors vying for the role of leader when a network needs to elect a new leader a group of node becomes candidates just like musicians auditioning for the lead role in the orchestra these candidates have to go through an election process they solicit votes from other nodes and the node who secures the most vote become the new leader taking the baton and steering the consensus process forward by clearly defining these roles and their responsibilities raft reduces the ambiguity and complexity that often plague distributed systems this orchestration of roles leader follower and candidate ensures that the consensus process remains orderly and that all nodes collaborate effectively despite the challenges posed by network failures and communication delays now let's move on and discuss one of the most beautiful and elegant concept in raft that is leader election at the core of raft design is the concept of having a single active leader that coordinates and guides the consensus process this leader acts as a conductor orchestrating the synchronization of actions among nodes to maintain consistency however since nodes can fail or disconnect the algorithm needs a method to ensure a smooth transition to a new leader if the current one becomes unavailable let us start by understanding what timeout and heartbeat means in the context of raft and then we'll see how this beautifully converges to a simple leader election algorithm Raft introduces the concept of heartbeat messages to monitor the health of the leader. The leader sends periodic heartbeat messages to all followers 
to signal its presence and activity. If a follower stops receiving heartbeats, it triggers a countdown. This countdown is called an election timeout. If a follower's election timeout elapses before receiving a heartbeat from the leader, it transitions to the role of a candidate, indicating a potential vacancy for the role of leader. When a node becomes a candidate, it increments its current term and requests votes from other nodes. Each candidate sends a request vote message to every other node in the network. The candidate's message includes its current term, its unique identifier, and the information about the log it holds. The other nodes then respond with their decision based on certain conditions. The first condition is that the candidate's term must be greater than the receiving node's current term. This ensures that nodes only acknowledge recent candidates and not outdated, stale ones. And the second condition is that nodes only vote if they haven't already voted for a different candidate in the same term. This avoids splitting votes and ensure that only one candidate can secure majority votes in a given term. For a candidate to become the new leader, it must receive votes from a majority of nodes. This requirement prevents multiple candidates from becoming leaders simultaneously. If a candidate manages to secure votes from more than half of the node, it wins the election and becomes the new leader for the current term. Upon receiving the majority of votes, the candidate transforms into the new leader. It begins sending heartbeats to establish its authority and initiates the log replication process. If another candidate concurrently receives a majority of votes, it means a split vote and a new election is triggered in the subsequent term. This process ensures a seamless transition of authority and a consistent leadership role even in the face of node failures and communication challenges. Next, we'll explore how this new leader manages the crucial task of log replication to maintain a coherent system state. In distributed system, all nodes must execute the same sequence of commands to ensure consistent behavior. This is where log replication comes in. Raft employs that mechanism to ensure that every node has an identical log representing the history of executed commands. The leader, acting as the conductor, initiates the log replication process. It receives client commands, appends them to its own log, and then broadcast append entries message to other nodes. These messages contain information about the leader's log entries, such as the term, index, and the actual command. Upon receiving an append entries message, followers scrutinize their own logs to match the entries sent by the leader. If a follower's log lack a specific entry, it appends the missing entry and responds to the leader. The leader awaits response from a majority of nodes before considering the entry as committed. Once an entry is committed, it's applied to the state machine, executing the command and changing the system state. This meticulous log replication process ensures that all nodes, leader and followers maintain identical logs. Even in scenarios of network partitions where communication breakdown occurs, Raft ensures that once the partition is resolved, the nodes with most up-to-date logs become leaders and the logs are synchronized through the same append entries mechanism. Now, to cope up with the potential node failures during log replication, Raft employs a heartbeat-like mechanism to detect unresponsive followers. If a follower does not respond within a certain time frame, the leader retries sending the append entries message until the follower catches up. If a leader itself fails, a new leader is elected and the replication process continues from where the previous leader left off. Raft's log replication process also addresses concerns related to concurrency and safety. It enforces a strict order of entries, ensuring that all nodes execute command in the same sequence. Additionally, the algorithm maintains safety by ensuring that a committed log entry is never overwritten or lost due to a new leader's election. Through this orchestrated ballet of log replication, Raft guarantees that all nodes in the distributed system follow the same choreography 
executing commands in harmony. This results in a consistent and coherent system state, irrespective of communication delays, network partitions, or node failures. Having understood how log replication works in Raft, a common follow-up question is, how does Raft ensure correctness and liveness? So let us now discuss about safety and liveness guarantees in Raft. Safety in the context of Raft refers to the steadfast guarantee that the algorithm never compromises data integrity even under adverse conditions. One key safety property in Raft is leader completeness. It guarantees that if a log entry is committed by a leader, it will eventually be present in the log of all future leaders. This prevents data loss or inconsistencies due to leader change. Another safety property is log matching. It mandates that if two logs share the same entries up to a certain index, they will be identical from that point onward. This ensures that nodes remain synchronized and consistent in their execution of commands. Liveness, on the other hand, encompasses the system's ability to make forward progress, even when facing challenges. Election safety is a key aspect of liveness. It guarantees that only a single leader is elected in any given term, preventing conflicting leadership claims that could hinder progress, a scenario commonly known as split brain in distributed computing. Leader append only property is another liveness aspect. It ensures that leaders never overwrite or remove entries from the logs once they are committed. This guarantees that the history of the system remains intact, enabling nodes to learn from past decisions and actions. Raft employs a commit rule that ensures the consistency of committed entries. An entry is considered committed once it's stored on a leader and a majority of its followers. This prevents conflicts between different leaders' decisions and enforces a coherent system state. By upholding these safety and liveness properties, Raft creates a solid foundation for achieving reliable consensus in distributed systems. Although we have mentioned throughout our discussion that Raft is able to handle network partitions, let us see exactly how it does that. First, let us understand what is a network partition. In a network partition, the distributed system becomes divided into multiple subgroup of nodes that cannot communicate with each other. This leads to a split brain scenario, where each subgroup believes that it is the only one operational, potentially causing conflicts in data updates and decision making. Raft's leader-centric approach aims to ensure consistency and order. When a partition occurs, the side with the leader continues to make decisions while the isolated nodes wait for the partition to resolve. This continuity maintains the progress of the system while minimizing the chances of conflicting commands. In a scenario where only the leader becomes disconnected due to a partition, the Raft algorithm's built-in mechanisms kick in. Followers detect the leader's absence through heartbeat timeouts and initiate a new leader election. This guarantees that the system doesn't remain in a stalemate due to a missing leader. And when the network partition resolves and communication is restored, the side with the most up-to-date leader's log prevails. This side becomes the new leader guiding the consensus process. If the disconnected leader was more up-to-date, its log entries are integrated into the new leader's log, ensuring a consistent and coherent history. In essence, Raft gracefully handles network partition by allowing one side to continue making decisions, initiating new elections if needed, and reconciling discrepancies once communication is restored. This approach ensures that even in the face of network disruptions, the distributed system maintains its commitment to consensus and data integrity. There are some complex scenarios where handling network partitions is not very straightforward. I would strongly suggest to read the Raft paper to understand exactly how Raft take care of those. Now, let us talk about some practical and real-world implementations of Raft. All the theoretical concepts that we have discussed come to life as we witness how Raft's elegant consensus mechanism is applied to solve complex challenges in distributed systems. Raft finds a natural home in distributed databases, 
where data consistency and reliability are paramount. Popular databases like HCD and CockroachDB employ Raft to maintain cluster membership, data distribution, and consensus on system state. This ensures that data changes are coordinated across nodes, safeguarding the integrity of the database. Raft is also employed in service discovery systems such as console to keep track of available services, handle registration and deregistration, and ensure accurate information decimation across a network of nodes. Raft shines in systems that require high availability of data. Key value stores like TIKV use Raft to guarantee that data is replicated across nodes, enabling data retrieval even if some nodes experience failures or crash. This application is critical in scenarios where data access must be consistent and reliable. So basically from databases to cloud platforms, from financial systems to service discovery, Raft algorithm stands as a versatile tool in the arsenal of distributed systems. Its simple yet effective approach to consensus make it a practical choice for various domains that demand data integrity, reliability, and coordination among distributed nodes. Finally, in our last segment, let us discuss about some of the current challenges and emerging frontiers for consensus algorithms. Let us talk about challenges first. So the first challenge that I think is very evident with current day consensus algorithms is the challenge of scalability. As systems grow in size, achieving consensus becomes more challenging. Traditional consensus algorithms like Paxos and Raft face scalability hurdles when dealing with hundreds or thousands of nodes. Another challenge is latency and performance. With distributed systems spanning global networks, managing communication latency while maintaining high performance is a constant challenge. Consensus algorithms by their very nature are very chatty. So it is very important that future consensus algorithms or variants strike a balance between consistency and responsiveness. Another challenge that we have discussed extensively is the challenge of network partitions. Although Raft elegantly handles network partitions, scenarios where partitions last longer or involve a larger number of nodes pose unique challenges. Ensuring smooth reconciliation after such disruptions remains a topic of exploration. Another challenge is security and Byzantine fault tolerance. Byzantine fault tolerant consensus algorithms are gaining prominence to address malicious actors and cyber attacks. However, ensuring data integrity and security in distributed settings still remains a persistent challenge. What exactly is a Byzantine fault tolerant system is a topic for another day. If you want me to create a podcast on Byzantine fault tolerant algorithms, do let me know in the comments. Now let us talk about some areas where consensus algorithms will play a critical role in future. First is blockchain and cryptocurrencies. Consensus algorithms play a pivotal role in blockchain technologies where trustless decentralized systems require agreement on transaction order and ledger state. Another interesting domain is IoT and edge computing. The proliferation of Internet of Things IoT devices and edge computing introduces new challenges in maintaining consensus among resource constrained devices with intermittent connectivity. Next is decentralized applications dApps. dApps leverage consensus mechanisms to ensure trust and coordination in decentralized environments. Exploring consensus models that fit the need of diverse dApp ecosystems is an ongoing pursuit. And finally, quantum computing. The advent of quantum computing could disrupt existing cryptographic methods, leading to the need for consensus algorithms resilient to quantum attacks. The future of consensus algorithm relies on collaboration between researchers, engineers, and practitioners. Developing consensus algorithms that tackle the emerging challenges demand creative solutions informed by a deep understanding of distributed systems, networking, cryptography, and more. And there you have it, a comprehensive exploration of the Raft consensus algorithm. We covered its components, its importance in achieving agreement, and its impact on various real-world applications, as well as its future applications and future improvements. Thank you so much for joining me on this podcast. 
As always, stay tuned for more insightful discussions on cutting-edge technologies and algorithms. Until next time, I am Shivam signing off.